Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Ray, and today I'm in beautiful Savannah, Georgia. Here is a city where citizens of the Old South welcome visitors like me with open arms and down-home food. But can I sample Savannah's old world flavor without it taking a bite out of my budget? I've got 24 hours, $40, and a lot of determination. I have a coupon, too. I promise I will enjoy the flavors of the Hostess City without breaking out the credit cards. And I ain't just whistling Dixie. Can I do it? Stick around and find out. If you want to slow down the pace, step back in time to Savannah, Georgia. With its semi-tropical weather, green town squares, sleepy riverbanks, and centuries-old architecture, this Georgian gem is the place to enjoy the gentility of a bygone era. This is so cool. For hundreds of years, Savannah has enjoyed a well-deserved reputation for welcoming tourists. Since its early days as a colonial hub, it has invited visitors and settlers alike to enjoy its eclectic brand of style and hospitality. I can see why Savannah's earned names like the Coastal Empire, the Garden of Good and Evil, and the Hostess City. Savannah has always been one of the South's great cities. During the Civil War, invading Union General Sherman was so impressed with Savannah's beauty that he ordered his troops to spare its 24 city squares, graceful homes, and many businesses, leaving behind one of the South's only preserved pre-war towns. Today, many of the buildings that impressed Sherman still stand. And alongside those buildings remains a rich culture that's famous for incredible hospitality and amazing food. In typical Savannah fashion, my hotel, the historic Hamilton Turner Inn, hospitably offers free breakfast to its guests. Right away, my $40 food adventure is off to a bargain of a start. Mm, yum. With a delicious breakfast under my belt, I'm ready to see the sights of this gorgeous 18th century town. Now, usually I come to a city armed with a battery of maps and books. Unfortunately, I was a little rushed coming to Savannah. Now, when that happens, and it's rare, <laughs> I like to check out a local bookstore and see what kind of treasures I can uncover. <laughs> wow, cool. Check out the stacks. Where do they keep the travel? Ah, oh, here we go. This is the travel section. I'm looking for a book that has a big restaurant section. Here we go. Oh, lots of one and two dollar signs, lots of affordables, that's good. This place sounds like a hoot. I'm taking this one. I think I got lucky with my first shot here. Lucky is an understatement. My lunch pick is a local institution called Mrs. Wilkes Boarding House. A boarding house turned restaurant, this family-style eatery has been feeding generations of natives for decades, serving up outrageous portions at unbelievably affordable prices. The line outside Mrs. Wilkes starts forming about one hour before the first of two daily lunches is served. Hey, you guys, is this the line for Mrs. Wilkes? Yeah, it is. It's huge. In line, I cozy up with some visitors who make Mrs. Wilkes their first stop every time they come to Savannah. I hear there's just tons of food. You can just stuff yourself sick. Is that true? Yep. What, like fried chicken, collards, that, that kind of thing? Yeah, they have big serving bowls, and you just pass it around the table. Oh, it's like you family it's style. that you don't even know. Oh, that sounds so great. Once Mrs. Wilkes is satisfied that the dining room is ready, this 93-year-old Southern Belle opens her kitchen for business. Oh, here we go. How exciting. <laughs> Hey. Mrs. Wilkes rings the lunch bell to get everybody seated. Then, according to tradition, she starts off the meal with a prayer. Good Lord, bless this food to us and us to thy service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Enjoy your lunch, everyone. I'm going to start this one going that way. Yeah. 
my meal may look like it magically appeared on the table, but Mrs. Wilkes' cooks have been hard at work in the kitchen all morning. Prepping the collard greens alone can take two people several hours. But because they cook large family-style quantities using local ingredients, Mrs. Wilkes is able to keep the cost low. Black Eyed Peas coming at you. Back in the dining room, I've loaded my plate with collard greens, peas, chicken, tomato, corn muffin, melon, potato salad, okra, and macaroni and cheese. Now, the South, they know how to make macaroni and cheese here. Mm. On the money, honey. Man, this is good. And I haven't even made a dent in the many family-style offerings Mrs. Wilkes has put on the table. Oh, this is so good. You could eat for hours and not find the bottom of your plate. And you know, what better way to enjoy the hostess city than with the city's premier hostess, Mrs. Wilkes? Is it really good or what, you guys? It's really good. Plus, when you eat family style like this, you make lots of new friends, and I'm getting tons of great ideas on how to spend the rest of my day in the garden of good and evil. <laughs> I know this meal will cost me at the scale, but will my wallet pay too? It's only midday, and in one sitting, I've feasted on nearly every flavor the South has to offer. The total with tax and tip? $14. I just hope I've saved enough room for dessert. Oh, blueberry cobbler. That's got my name written all over it. Sure, of course. My carriage awaits. <laughs> when we come back, I tour the town in search of a bargain. Oh, this square is gorgeous. There are actually 24 squares here in Savannah. But I find a great deal in my own backyard. Good afternoon. Good Welcome afternoon. To tea. Will high tea strain my budget? Stay tuned. Mmm, that looks divine. When you reserve your hotel, consider accommodations offering breakfast, specialty snacks, or wine tastings included with the price of your room. In January 1994, a little book called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil hit the New York Times bestseller list. The book, as it's known here in Savannah, includes colorful tales of local characters and real-life places. Now many tourists come to get a first-hand look at their favorite literary hotspots. A good way to check out the sites and get into the spirit of things here is to travel the way they did a century ago, by horse-drawn carriage. Wow, my carriage awaits. <laughs> What's our horsey's name? This is Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Good morning. Come on, Lewis, walk on. <laughs> oh, this square is gorgeous. There are actually 24 squares here in Savannah. My tour guide, Kim, and her trusty Steve Lewis are chock full of fab facts about Savannah. Have you noticed the Spanish moss on the oh, tree? Oh, sure, it's hard to miss that. It's actually from the family of the pineapple. You're kidding. No, it just lives off the moisture and the nutrients and the dirt in the air. Wow. But you have to watch out for those chiggers and those red bugs on it, though. Oh, that's great, thanks. There are quite a few bugs to be careful of down here. There are. <laughs> One of the best and least buggy spots on the tour is my hotel, the historic Hamilton Turner Inn. OK, Rachel, we're all done. It Thank was... you so much, oh. Kim. I learned so much. I had the best time. Thank you, Lewis. You did great. Have a great rest of your day in Savannah. You know, I booked this place online when I read about its beauty and its rich history. And here's the best part. When you stay here, not only do you get breakfast included, but this delightful afternoon tea that they sell for $14.95, it's also free to hotel guests. Hello. <laughs> That's what I call Southern hospitality. Built in 1873 for jeweler Samuel Hamilton, the inn is a wonderful example of Second French Empire architecture. Walking into its parlor with its luxurious furnishings and elegant appointments, I feel like a regular Scarlett O'Hara. Good afternoon. Welcome Good afternoon. To tea. Well, thank you. I'm very excited for tea here. It smells wonderful. I'm here. so glad. Thank you. 
I've prepared for you today our Hamilton Turner blend, okay. which is a Darjeeling and peach leaves blend. It smells terrific. I can smell Thank it already. And well, it's a loose leaf tea? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. We feel that the um, loose leaves give a more full-bodied tea flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have a strainer. I saw for the little you silver strainer. So beautiful. And I'll pour your first cup for you. Well, thank you. I smell that. Isn't that wonderful? Well, if you're going to have peach, you know, you got to. If you're in, in Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> One of the ladies will be out in just a little bit to bring you a tray of everything we can. Oh, wonderful. Cooking. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. How terribly civilized. <laughs> well, here we go. My first sip of tea at tea time in Georgia. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Innkeeper Sue Strickland has been busy baking in the kitchen all morning. Her signature item is a traditional southern recipe and Hamilton Turner favorite, Scottish shortbread. She blends flour, baking powder, sugar, and lots and lots of butter into a batter. She forms it into a square and pops it in the oven. When it comes out, it's said to be one of the best shortbreads in all of Savannah. Once the baking is done, the in staff begins preparing and plating today's feast, which includes such delectables as basil chicken salad, tomato sandwiches, and mushroom turnovers. And for dessert today, they've got scones, chocolate Coca-Cola cake, lemon crunch cake, and of course, the famous shortbread. Everything is served with Devonshire cream and fresh preserves. I don't know where to begin. Let's see. Well, I smelled her making the shortbread, so I'm going to try some of that. Now, I'm going to try a little bit of this cream and preserves with it, because they look like good homemade preserves. Fresh nutmeg on the Devonshire cream. Oh, my daddy would just flip for this. He's going to be so jealous. <laughs> hmm. That is as close to heaven as I've been in quite a while. <laughs> Okay, time to check the funds. My lunchtime feast was $14, and the cost of my afternoon tea is free. That leaves me $26 left for the rest of the day. Mm. Here it is. Coming up, I satisfy my sweet tooth at bargain prices. I have a coupon, too. But will too many chefs spoil the pralines? Stay back a little bit here. It's going to start popping at you. Stick around. <laughs> 